remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I posted a photo on Instagram today and they took it down. Now, why would they do such a dastardly thing to such a great guy? In the photo, you have Donald Trump, your president, Ivanka, his beloved daughter, and one of his best friends in the whole world. I mean, one of his closest best friends. Convicted pedophile. Convicted and now deceased pedophile of the century. Jeff Epstein. In the photo, Trump appears to be touching Ivanka's upper torso. Jeff Epstein can be seen standing right before them, looking into the camera with a smirk on his face like, yeah, this is how we get down. Now I'll admit, I'll admit that the photo was photoshopped. But it ain't like it couldn't have really happened for real because we know how close Trump is with Ivanka. I seen him kiss in the mouth. He's like, he loves touching on her and stuff. I think he'd be touchy feely with her, you know? It's kind of this really, really like awkward type relationship that I've never seen with a father and a daughter. And I've seen fathers who love their daughters, like, but not like that before, right? Anyway, so I stand accused of posting a photo that was photoshopped. Ooh, wee, wow. What I want to know is, why was the Trumpets so triggered? Why did they take such exception to me posting the photo? They were like, you're running for public office. You can't be lying. <laughs> You can't be spreading fake news to your fans. That's crazy to me because that's all Trump does is spread fake news and lie. His whole administration. That's all they do is lie. So if lying was the type of thing that could get you discredited or uh, would have you barred from holding office, then there's no way Trump would be the president because he is a big liar. So what this leads me to believe is that like Trump and his administration and many people that support them, they have a mentality do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Because I want to know where was that same energy when Trump was being accused of sexually assaulting all of those women? Where was that energy when Trump was on the bus with that dude saying, grab him by the pee? Where was that energy when Epstein was accused of molesting all of the underage women? See, y'all don't really care about sexual abuse like you say you do. You're not defensive. You're not a defender of sexual assault victims like you say you are. Until you or someone you know that you support like Trump is accused of sexual assault. That's why you got so many rape kits and all of these police departments around the United States of America. They said something like 95% of them go unchecked. They're not even checking them. Is, does that really sound like a country that really cares about? No, what they do is they pick and choose the ones that they care about. And then they go all out like, oh, you, you're saying this, it's, 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 it's nothing to joke about. It's, you know, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't say it. It's all game, man. And I want you to know Trump X, I see right through you. I see right through you. Since when did people who support Trump and watch Fox News 
give a damn about journalistic integrity. You don't. You never have. The only time you have a complaint, the only time that you're triggered is when someone who doesn't share your views calls you out or does the exact same thing you do. And that exact same thing could run the gamut. Anything from a simple insult to murder. You can't intimidate me. I ain't the one. I ain't scared of you. What you gonna do? Bring up my record? <laughs> my life is an open book. I ain't got nothing to hide. And if I did have something to hide, I can deal with the consequences if I was found out. I'm cool with accepting my bitter with my sweet. I'm okay with accountability. What about you, hypocrite? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?